In this video, we'll cover new performance enhancements to the 2016 PE release of Alias Speedform technology. While we are in this interior, let's talk about some changes to our scene. You should see two types of surfaces. T-splines, like we see on the door panel, have black surface edges. T-splines are very powerful technology that give advanced benefits and precision that other tech, like sub-Ds, can't offer such as high quality creases. Sometimes speed is more important than precision. Because of that, we have a new simplified T-spline mode shown with the cyan colored surface edges. This mode limits the precision and internal continuity of T-points of T-splines and other significant speed advantages. This simplified T-spline mode takes advantage of the open sub-Ds tech that Maya uses. You can work just in the simplified T-splines mode to get strict speed benefits, or you can work in the full T-spline mode to get the benefits of the T-spline precision. In the latter case, you can get a simplified preview of the T-splines to have the fast speed interaction, while still being able to get the precise shape with one single mouse click. The simplified preview will approximate some areas of the T-spline and show those with dotted lines. To introduce this, I will show you yet another advancement to the PE release with customized hotkeys. If you choose to, you can customize any of the hotkeys using this tool. Just enter the new hotkey assignment and you will have your own personal chosen hotkeys. Scrolling down to the display mode though, I want to highlight two things. For the last couple of releases, hotkey shortcuts for display mode are one for box, two for hybrid, and three for smooth. And secondly, we added a new simplified preview and assigned it four. As a quick review, press one for box, press two for hybrid, Press 3 for smooth, which shows the actual surfaces, and press 4 for simplified preview. For this release, we've improved overall performance. Talking about performance, I'm working on a complete stylized interior done in Speedform and half of the exterior body of the car created in Alias. I get real time performance, even with so much data. The first thing that I want to show you is that from a user's perspective, working with simplified T-spline is just like working with T-splines. I can cut the surface and it provides results that look the same as I would have gotten from a T-spline surface. The second example is an extrude out of the surface. Click and pull and the performance is nearly instantaneous. To convert a simplified T-spline surface to a T-spline, we need a tool with exact mode, and both the add point and subdivide give you exact mode. I'll just cut the shape. We now have black surface edges, telling us that we have a T-spline surface. The single cut did not isolate to the surface patch, but extends beyond. Therefore, there can be some differences in the overall control after conversion to T-splines. If I delete the surface edge and then switch to simplified display mode, I'll see yet another difference between T-splines and simplified T-spline surfaces. Looking at the seat back, there are new dashed lines visible. This mode shows simplified T-spline representation, and for T-splines, this will show an approximation of the simplified T-spline. Because this representation doesn't support T-points directly, it provides an approximation and thus the dashed lines. So once again, going back to performance, remember the real-time ability to extrude out to surface. Let's try it with the T-spline surface. I'm dragging out the control and waiting and waiting. To extrude this, it took nearly five seconds to see the result while doing this in the simplified T-spline was nearly instantaneous. But watch what happens when I press 4 to switch to simplified display mode and do the same operation. 
once again instantaneous. I hope you get the picture of why we added simplified T-splines into Speedform. Simplified T-splines give performance improvements to your workflow when working with a lot of data. And simplified display mode gives performance improvements when you work with both surface types.